Let's talk about the major and minor scales. Do you remember the scale steps we talked about in episode two? If not, that's fine. I will put a link up in the top right hand corner of the video that you can click on and go refresh on. If you're not familiar with it, I would recommend going back and refreshing yourself on the scale steps and how to get to them before you watch this video. The notes in a scale are A, A sharp or B flat, B, C, C sharp, D flat, D, D sharp, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G flat, G, G sharp, and A flat. Now, if you start at any note on that scale and use the pattern whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole half, it will give you a major scale. Let's look at the C major scale. If you start with the C and use the whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole half pattern, You'll go from C to D, which is a whole step. D to E, which is a whole step. E to F, which is a half step. F to G, which is a whole step. G to A, which is a whole step. From A to B, which is a whole step. And then B to C, which is a half step. So the C major scale would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C. Now let's take a look at the minor scale. The only difference between a major scale and a minor scale is the pattern you use to create it. A minor scale uses the pattern whole half, whole whole half, whole whole. Looking at the notes in the scale again, let's assemble an A minor scale. You will begin with A as the first note in the scale. Then from A to B is a whole step. From B to C is a half step. From C to D is a whole step. From D to E is a whole step. From E to F is a half step. From F to G is a whole step. And from G to A is a whole step. So the A minor scale looks like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A. Do the notes in this scale look familiar to you? Well, it should because these are the same notes in the C major scale. They're just arranged differently. This is called a relative minor. So a C major scale relative minor is the A. All major scales have relative minors that use the same notes. They're just arranged differently. Looking at this picture right here, you will see that a C major scales relative minor is an A minor. A C sharp major scales relative minor is an A sharp minor. But instead of remembering all of that, there's a quick way to figure out a major scales relative minor. It's by counting to the sixth note in the scale. So let's look at the C major scale again. C D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C. If you number these notes, starting with C is 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, and A is 6, B is 7, and C would either be back to 1 or you can continue on with 8. So that would tell us that the A is the sixth note in the C major scale, and that is the C major's relative minor. One more major scale I want to show you is the D major scale. Now let's figure out what the D major scale is by using the pattern whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So again, we will start with the D note since it's the D major scale. So a D, a whole step to an E, a whole step to an F sharp, a half step to a G, a whole step to an A, a whole step to a B, a whole step to a C sharp, and a half step back to D. So the D major scale is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. So why did we use the F sharp instead of the G flat, or the C sharp instead of the D flat? Well, it's because you don't want to skip any letters or use the same letters twice when writing out scales. Also, if you count to the sixth note in the D scale, you will see that the D major's relative minor is the B.